Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared with my lovely wife, Kara. Hello. And we have some really awesome new Andar products to show you guys. And we're also going to share with you a link to get 15% off of your very own Andar product. We're going to have a store link in the description and the link for the discount code that you can use while shopping for your products. So before taking a close look at our new products, this is the wallet I've been carrying from Andar for over a year now. And you can see how beautifully it's aged and all the, the breaking in it's done. And yeah, I love this wallet. It's held up very well. The stitching's all held up. This thing, I, I absolutely love this wallet. It's my favorite wallet as of right now, but we got a replacement. So let's check out the new one. Here's my old wallet. Here's the new one. This is the stone gray version. This was obviously the brown version that has aged oh so well. So I can't wait to see how this one ages after having all my stuff in it. <laughs> all right, guys, here we have the bag we got. This is called the Addison. It is an all leather bag. On the back side here, you can see it does have a backpack feature with adjustable straps, which is what made it really, really exciting to me. Um, the bag is made out of full grain leather, which is awesome. Here we have a hidden pocket on the back side. I'm not totally informed, but I do believe this is some sort of a suede or the inside of a leather. But regardless, it's extremely soft and you can tell it is quality. On this side, we have the outer pocket. Again, a really, really nice smooth zippers. And this outer pocket boasts a lot of space, which is very nice. I hate it when bags don't utilize that uh, space. Now we have the main pouch, which has um, some inner pockets that you could slide your phone into, wallet, things like that. Uh, and then we have right here the uh, another little pocket in here with the same soft material all throughout. One other thing I noticed on the website when looking at this bag was that they advertise it as being used as a laptop bag, which it does have the perfect shape for, and it was advertised as a unisex bag. Uh, which I, I would agree that you could totally use it uh, for either sex. And why don't we get on to some of this testing to see how these uh, objects do. Okay guys, it's been a couple months since I've been carrying this bag, so I wanna go over a couple of the really nice qualities surrounding it. First of all, it has super spacious pockets and that's something I've come to love. It has absolutely no wasted space with useless type pockets that no one needs. It rather just leaves you all the space to do with what you want and it has a couple useful spaces for things that people carrying a bag like this would typically have. It also has a very soft interior. Uh, it's really nice because when you're reaching inside for something, you know, you're not getting scratched up by, you know, some cheap kind of material. It's very luxurious feeling. The zippers are also a really nice feature. They are incredibly smooth. You can open them with one hand with no uh, kinking in the zipper, or I guess like, you know, where it just stops on its own. They're very smooth and absolutely no fabric gets snagged on it when you're doing the closing part of the zipper. The bag is broken in really nicely without losing any of its structural integrity. So we have these really nice uh, character marks that it's developed, which I really love, but it has remained completely solid through all the weather types that it's endured so far which would include multiple rainstorms and also some snow which leads me to believe that it is preconditioned although i couldn't find that information it must be because typical leather shoes i would wear in the exact same weather would show marks and those rain marks and salt marks if i had gone through the same weather that this bag has endured Lastly, I do have one thing that I would like to improve on the bag, and that would really just be with the straps. I wish that there was two handles at the top so that if you are trying to shop and you quickly reach in for your wallet or whatever, and you're trying to shop, and then you quickly just want to pick your bag up, that you can do so without the bag hanging wide open because you'd have another strap on the other side. And then also the actual shoulder straps. I do just wish they were just a touch wider or maybe something on them to make them a little less slick. They do tend to slip off my shoulder if I do the one shouldered carry, which I do tend to do a lot. But those are really personal preferences. As the bag is, it is wonderful. I would highly recommend it. And this is a really, really quality product by Andar.
As for the phone case and wallet, so the wallet, it has aged very well, just like my brown one. I really didn't even need to switch it because these do last very well. They age very well, and I love that I have this pull strap feature. I can carry all my cards right inside, and then anytime I need to get to them nice and fast, bam, I can get right to them, push them right back. It works really good. It's very reliable. I usually stash my money in here. I just fold it up, you know, keep a few bills in there. This pocket, I don't use. I don't even know what it's for. But regardless, everything that I need to carry in my wallet fits perfectly in this. Very slim. I can carry this in my front pocket or back pocket. I normally carry it in my back pocket. But it's nice having a wallet that I can switch from my back pocket to my front pocket. Like if I change into shorts or something like that. So I absolutely love this wallet. I highly recommend recommend it, especially if you want a wallet that's going to age and, you know, last a long time and only look better over time. And I love the way how all the colors, you know, and, you know, just all the scratches and the aging, that, that looks awesome to me. And yeah, absolutely recommend this wallet in particular. Okay, guys, I want to quickly talk about the Andar leather phone case. This case is really great. It's one of the iPhone ones, and overall, I would say I'm pretty happy with it. I did get the navy blue tan combo. There is other color combos as well. The character marks that have shown up on the phone with its use are really nice. I, I love stuff like that where it looks better with time, not worse. The dye from the leather has not leaked at all in anything, which I appreciate. Sometimes that can happen with dyed or stained leather. Another nice feature of the case is that the buttons are just covered with this, like, kind of stamped leather part of the case. So you cannot actually access the button with your finger, but rather you push it through the case, which is really nice for protecting the seams of the buttons from dust. There's only one button that has direct access because it is more of a switch. The texture of the case itself is smooth, although you do feel some variation because of the character marks. The only negative to this case is its texture. I did have to purchase a um, little pop socket so that I would have a little bit of something to hold on to. They do make ones that do not stick to your phone. That way you're not ruining the case. They just grip the sides, which was a perfect solution and still well worth the case. So all in all, I've really enjoyed having this phone case. This is definitely something I will be leaving on my phone permanently. I love the fact that it has a really nice gent look, but it also transitions perfectly as a woman's case as well. It's super classy, super beautiful, and I definitely think that this is something that anyone that likes leather would really, really appreciate. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Bye.